question that we get the most is, have we ever had a foursome? Okay, have we fucked? Just answer the question. Do we need therapy? Ladies, gents, oh. <laughs> welcome to Not Your Therapist Podcast. Fucking cheers, queers. Session cheers. number one, Session baby. One. Let's go. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh my God, tequila is what you chose, eh? Yeah, yeah and it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot, steamy. <laughs> steamy is crazy. That was fucking disgusting. Y'all, Kay, I just wanted to point something out. The abbreviation for our, our podcast is nut. <laughs> Not your therapist. <laughs> I love it. Not you got a pair yeah. of those. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, guess we, we, should, we should maybe like say who we are. Maybe people won't care. Mm. Maybe not. Yeah. But yeah, we may as well just give a little intro. Shall we go around the room? Take it away. Mm-hmm. Oh, with me is what we're starting. We go with. clockwise. Oh my god, this feels clockwise. like we're in, this feels like we're in elementary school when everyone's like, okay, say your name, your favorite color, and a memory over the summer. Oh, like, the panic. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. have anxiety till it gets to my turn. Yeah. Like when like somebody, when you know you're next yeah. to read. Yeah. Out of like, you're like, oh my god, I can't read. Yeah. <laughs> we're already a mess. I'm okay. Drunk, sorry. Okay, we're going clock. Take it off. Take it away, Murph. Clock. Um, my name is Mercedes or Murphy and, um, I do porn. (laughs) (laughs) The nervous laugh. (laughs) Wait, did you guys know that Murph does porn? Oh my God. You do porn. Oh, and I'm dating Carly, Carl, who also does porn. Love that. We do porn together. I love it. Hi, Carl. (laughs) (laughs) Um, we also do like TikTok, a little Instagram, a little YouTube sometimes and Oh yeah. yeah, we're just fucking. Oh that's yeah, what, but that's mainly that, that's yeah. what we do. But mainly porn. Love that. Mm-hmm. So um, okay, I'm Jamie or Jim or Jimbo. <laughs> Depends okay. on the day. Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> you got crazy in your eyes when you said <laughs> Jimmy. Um, and uh, I do porn. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Vic is like, what? It's, no, Since it's, when? No, you know what you do? You do ear porn. Oh, oh mommy. Um, I do music or I try. And mm-hmm. I'm dating the lovely woman to my left, Miss Victoria. Hello. Hi, I'm, Victoria. I'm, hi. How are you? Uh, I'm Victoria or Victor. Again, depends on the day. Um, I do content. I don't do porn. Um, and I'm also a fun, <laughs> I, I, I have a little clothing business as well. Alter I'm a ego. sewer. Yeah. So that's fun. Mm. Did you say and I'm sober? No, I said I'm a sewer. Oh, I thought you oh. said, and I'm sober. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> cheers. cheers. <laughs> that, was like, that was a crazy lie right <laughs> off the bat. It's like Victor's video. <laughs> 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 Because you're gonna lie, cover your bases. Like that's fucking crazy. Make sure there's no receipts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only sober to those on Spotify or yeah. Apple or Amazon or any other platform. What's okay, the opposite crazy. of California sober? Because California sober is if you only smoke weed. Oh, oh. So that it, that's yeah. what that means. Yeah. California sober, crazy. Mm. I didn't know because everyone mm. in. California. Okay, yeah. No, that's yeah, self-explanatory. Right? I don't need yeah. to. I don't need to keep going. You Anyways. know, everybody thinks I'm a raging stoner. Homosexual? <laughs> no, they yeah. don't think that. <laughs> they think I'm a straight boy. This yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah. Um. Everybody thinks that I'm high, and all of our videos are like, "Oh my God, Mercedes looks really? zooted," or people are co- really. Yes, they. I've always never comment. seen one of those comments ever. Comment. <laughs> what? Yeah, I I always get comments. About I feel the like fact it's that I look like, so high. Can I can I tell you something? You can. Yeah, we might have our first fight, but it's not gonna. It's hilarious. You, you're the least <laughs> sensitive person ever in the world. Um, but I feel like that's because you're like, oh my god, and like bubbly, and then the camera turns on, and you're like, hey, I'm mm. Merv, and then yeah. so you get all real calm. Mm-hmm. She instantly gives sex eyes the second. Yeah, the camera's on. You're like, I think that might be that's why. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god um i feel like i'm i'm pretty bubbly during this podcast you know well, that's the podcast we're talking, to, we're and talking like, tiktok over mm-hmm. here yeah different things like yeah. your get ready yeah. with me's so seductive so seductive yeah I, I, yeah do you smoke weed no oh amazing. okay <laughs> yeah i guess i should have said that no <laughs> i don't ever so you're in fact i wish i was high. mentally stable enough to smoke weed oh my god i miss too. it i actually miss it a lot I used to love like yeah. getting high, writing music. Mm-hmm. 
was your experience like you used to get super fucking high and then one day the high was just not fun anymore and then you had to stop smoking that's a good question i i think it was kind of like that but i had a full mental breakdown and so i got like completely oh. so like i didn't do anything because i was like i'm gonna give my mental health the best chance i can um good for you buddy yeah it was actually a nice a nice uh, decision but uh, like I didn't get super high. I actually was like the most responsible weed smoker in the world. It checks out. That doesn't surprise <laughs> yeah, yeah. me yeah. at all. You're so responsible. I know, it's so, so annoying. Responsible. You're the most responsible and respectful person I know. What? Yeah. R&R. Are you R&R. <laughs> yes. Mask on mask. <laughs> on mask. <laughs> R&R. Responsible and respectful. <laughs> oh my God. Album name. R&R. R&R. <laughs> R&R. But like, I, would, I wouldn't smoke. R&R. 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 And your Australian accent. R&R. R&R. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I hate this podcast already. Yeah. It's the first and last episode. Arnar. Arnar Clayar. What? what? Is that? Have you never seen that on TikTok? No, I have just not in the way you said it. Okay, Clayar. well, I tried my best. There's nothing worse oh, than saying Clayar. a trending thing and everyone in the room is like, what? what? <laughs> it's all right. I feel like that's how my entire life has played out. Oh, oh my God, Vic. I want to give you a hug. Well, she you can right there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I hate I this. Just <laughs> noggins there. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> noggins? <laughs> no, what, what did you say? She said something today, and in, internally I thought that's the most Canadian thing. She's like, yeah, you know when you're just ripping around and shoot the shit or something like that? And I was like, you did not. Like, you said that today My at the table. My girlfriend said that to you. <laughs> Wait, I said that? <laughs> ripping around and shooting the Go shit. Going for a little rip, man. <laughs> And then now you just this bonked noggins. I'm like, whoa, eh? That's crazy. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, we're all Canadian. Yeah. By the way. Oh, yeah. So. We became friends really quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've hung out. Like, we, we talked about this today, the three of us, while you were gone and abandoned us for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been friends for a year and a half. And we've actually, like, tangibly only hung out, like, nine times. Yeah. Isn't that stupid yeah and we're Actually, obsessed with each other yeah it's so like, annoying sickly obsessed with each other <laughs> i'd like to talk that? about something mm-hmm. that upset me with you what um when we were doing the huddle at your one show yeah and you were going around talking about how everyone's important to you and then you look at us and you're like i've known you for five minutes but i love you so much and i was like is that is that how but you it's view pretty us? accurate wait i thought she was saying that to somebody i else. was saying that to taylor <laughs> no was you that, said 10 minutes to the fucking girl in the back. <laughs> I gave yeah. 10 minutes and gave you guys yeah. five minutes? Yeah. Wow. That's so crazy. the thing is, is mm. that we're doing this podcast together and am I doing a podcast with anybody else? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Grow up. Shut up. <laughs> that was good. I know. Good for you. Not to start airing out laundry, but Mercedes gets very defensive over her friends. Oh, okay. Anyways. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> like that, that comment, like. Not your guys' first fight. <laughs> Hurt. Their first fight, our first sure on the podcast. You. On the oh, podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five minutes in. <laughs> Just wait for the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Same time we've been friends. Five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, get over it. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we became very close mm-hmm. very quickly. Mm-hmm. Very and close. we talked about doing this podcast pretty early on and mm-hmm. now are finally making it happen. Mm-hmm. What do you think that like number one question? Because people are kind of obsessed with our friendship, which I love mm-hmm. because we are fun. If nothing else, we're fun. Mm-hmm. We're a great what do you, what's like the number one question? I've gotten I've gotten a question a million times, and I want to know if you guys get the same question yes. about our relationship. Okay, you're raising your hand. Not yeah. you raising your hand. Like me. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jim Bob. <laughs> Mr. Jim, can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> Um, the question that we get the most is, have we ever had a foursome? That is literally the same question. Everybody, everyone's like, you guys obviously just. All, all you do is all sleep fuck. together. Yes. <laughs> I'm like maybe we cuddle. Have we cuddled? Have we? There was that one. <laughs> that was the one night. That was the one night. <laughs> um, I have to go. Okay. Have we fucked? Just answer the question. We have not. We have not. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Tonight, okay. yeah, maybe it's a, celebratory. a little celebration. Val- <laughs> Valentine's Day, I think, is a really good time. Yeah. It is romantic. Oh it sips beer. Very, very romantic. It's just around the corner. We did talk about doing a double date for Valentine's Day. I know. Will that lead to something more? Mm. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> mask on mask again. <laughs> again, that is crazy. Again, um, <laughs> we haven't had a foursome, but me and Mercedes always go out. <laughs> we sword fight. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh my god, my mom's gonna be like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> Let her know. Oh, okay. yeah. you want me to? <laughs> oh, yeah, literally. I love yeah. it. Kath and Shirl. Shirl. Shirley Girly. Shirley Girly. My mom. Girly. They're Girl. gonna be like. That's a by Google's. <laughs> really girly and calf. Please do not Google. I'm good. I'm like or I do, do not want to see their search history after any of these episodes. Ooh, good point. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, but actually, abruptly going back to Valentine's Day, what are you guys doing? I don't know. Valentine's Day is like the one holiday celebratory thing that we try not to like surprise each other we just plan it together and like do something together because it's so awkward when you're in a couple and we're both trying to plan surprises and it just like True. fucks up each other's plans so we Fair. just like yeah we made we made it. the decision early on to just do something shared or go away for valentine's day and oh, then surprise man. each other for birthdays or yeah. Yeah. you know but so like smart. valentine's day will be our shared yeah. like we decide mm-hmm. but we have no plans yeah we have no decisions yet the, because the, we wanted to be um like in florida or la right for valentine's day that was mm-hmm. the goal but now we're gonna be a little later to that so honestly i'd be so happy with like dinner in an escape room shocker Dude, yeah escape room back to back to back to oh. back to back to back to back escape rooms are so fucking like consuming to us right now all we well i mean especially me all i fucking do is think about them if I'm, we're not in an escape room i'm literally looking up like virtual escape rooms to do <laughs> online <laughs> I have a sick that obsession. So unsatisfying. It, no. Yeah. It just it it gets me off a little bit. You know. It doesn't. <laughs> she said it doesn't the really. Escape room. <laughs> <laughs> it, I don't know. They just like stimulate my mind in a way that's like nothing can ever compare to them. Do you know what I mean? There's the adrenaline like, you the, get. Not your, not your, your say no, the adrenaline. Yeah. The adrenaline <laughs> you get is absolutely fucking oh, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do one tonight. Okay. Do you okay. want to drive to Buffalo and do it? <gasps> Will it be? Open? It's open late. Can Let's, we do that? We'll see the but we'll all look at the Buffalo ones. But okay. I feel like we should do we have to do something tonight. Thanks for being part of our planning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the podcast. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We actually have crazy busy plans in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what I are you guys it? doing for uh, Valentine's Day? Well, my sweet angel, oh. um, husband, wife, whatever you are, um, is doing <laughs> How did you just confuse me more? <laughs> well, wife is crazy. Like, that's right. crazy. Yeah. Um, that crazy. She has a photo shoot that day, so I will be at home with Jasper. Just why don't cuddling. you just why don't you just stay here until? Because I have so many things to get done for Alter Ego. Yeah, you got to sew. I have six custom bags to do. Mm. Okay, we understand. Yeah. You're impressive. Yeah. We get it. Yeah. Cool. No, I'm just stressed out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not impressive. I'm stressed. <laughs> Fun. I feel like next year we should plan like going away, t- like to like a resort. Ooh. Okay, that means we have to get Murph on. I'll take on a, a plane. <laughs> Do you want to tell the people? I have a fear of flying. Everybody and their mothers know Loud that I'm and clear. terrified of flying. So um, I feel like I'll have to just do hypnosis. That's crazy. That or I, Xanax. Yeah. I'll need way more. I'll need a horse tranquilizer. Okay. We can do both. Can be arranged. Yep. We can all I do all three. Guy. You shall receive Hypnosis. Guy. Yeah. Hypnosis, horse tranquilizer, and a Xanax. You will be fine. Imagine. You might will, not arrive. Yeah, you, you might. might but, yeah. You might flatline at some point. You're going to wake up after the trip is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. I need oh, to find, you? I need to find like a medication that will yes. do it for me. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get you some gabapentin or something. That's what we give Jasper. I, I know. Yeah. He, he, really, know he sleeps a lot. Like crazy when we give it to I him. feel like you need... That's true. I feel like... Ugh, we unpacked this yesterday. I just I just want to get you on a plane. Yeah. I don't want to overthink it. I want to like... F- let's fly to Buffalo tonight. 25 minute drive. <laughs> we fly. Hilarious. No. Okay, sick. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I love that. Good effort. I'll do it. In time. I love that. I know I will. Okay? I'm, I'm proud of I'm, you. I'm proud of you in advance. Same. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, because we, that's the energy. So, as a backstory, not really a backstory, we, we being Vic and I, have talked about when we get married, we'd like to get married in the south of France. Mm-hmm. And uh, how are that's you going to get to the south of France? <laughs> I will do it because you guys are my everything, Aww. and I will make it happen, fear or not. But to just go to fucking Timbuktu tomorrow, not worth it right now. You know? It's crazy that you said Timbuktu because like we could go to not Timbuktu and go somewhere important, but I Mim totally shows. get it. Okay, yeah. Mim shows again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I love it. 
Well, I'm going to steer this conversation right back to Valentine's Day. Okay. Because it's tomorrow. Do any of us have some fun or funny or beautiful Valentine's Day stories? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course it's you, yeah. Carl. I have something really embarrassing to talk about. Air it out. <clears throat> so, basically, this was probably like six years ago. Or seven? No, probably more than that, like seven years ago. And um, I was dating this guy we broke up and so it was my first valentine's day alone in a couple years and i was like fucking heartbroken i was like oh because do you love valentine's day or it was just like amplifying your heartbreak yeah i don't really like i mean obviously valentine's day is nice but i also think you should like do that stuff all year around you know like i love showing love and affection but i think i just wished for like anything like i was just like this is the only time i get like a sliver of love in this relationship. Yeah. So then when Valentine's Day was coming up, I was like, fuck, this is my first year single. What am I going to do? And so I had my friends, fucking ride or dies, stage this whole like Valentine's Day setup where we put like rose petals leading up to my door. We put like gifts and like candles and shit around my room. And I filmed all of it. And one of my friends also filmed my reaction to walking up to door like I had fully known this whole thing was gonna happen and I just like was like oh my god I can't believe this like I can't believe you did this and we had posted it to social media so like in hopes that my ex would see it because then jealous. he would think that it was you had else. another yeah. person did he, he see it val- 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 um I think he did see it did I don't he say think anything? he gave one yeah <laughs> I was gonna say fuck. he probably usually didn't they fuck. don't care like he's like oh nice like yeah. skip past they don't yeah. they don't give a fuck better him than me yeah. <laughs> no you're saying that about your girlfriend that was crazy <laughs> I was thinking if I was him because he was a piece of shit fair Okay, good save. Mm-hmm. Good, mm-hmm. good save. <laughs> but yeah, so that was super fucking embarrassing. And I really thought I did something. But then I was more heartbroken when he saw the story and like didn't immediately show up at my doorstep <laughs> begging for me back. <laughs> okay, but also imagine he showed up and there was just nobody there with you. Yeah, that would have been worse. <laughs> like went to go so, fight for you and you're yeah, just like, and he was like, yeah. 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 Crying. He's like, where is he all fucking kill? I'm like, who? <laughs> <laughs> Your friends? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh my so, god, dark. That's hilarious. Yeah. So those okay, are, but I feel like everyone's done something crazy. Oh, I've like done something that. Like, like that. what like what are things that you've posted to make an ex jealous? I literally posted like I bought myself flowers and I posted them on my story with like the little Snapchat bitmoji, whatever. And it was like mm. the hard eyes because I knew that it was gonna work and it did. It did? Oh, hundred percent. Oh my god. I got a What's text almost like? immediately being like, Who are those from? And I was like, What'd you say? I was like, None of your business. Yeah. <laughs> Make yeah. Name. yeah. Jim. It worked still. That's crazy. I feel like you guys are very different than us. Have you you've, ever done that? You've never posted No. Some- no, I've okay, never. I've, yeah, okay. Maybe but- like f- fucking someone, but not, f- not gonna you buy myself. I'm sorry. You someone? posted yourself. No, like, I, like I would just go, f- like, I've, I fucked my ex's, like, enemy. Like, I would just do shit like that. I understand. So you're toxic. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But like, not, in like a, not in, like, flowers. a, I don't know. I don't fuck their best friend. <laughs> really bad. Um, not in a, like, <laughs> look at me, mm. come back to me type way. Like a, oh, yeah? Okay. Like that kind of way. Gotcha. That's malicious. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say you guys are, like, different than us, but everyone's different from you so. Wait, oh you've never done that you've never fucked a person yes you fucking have you used to be toxic as shit first of all put what? your finger away <laughs> secondly oh, you've probably done 10 times worse i don't want to say 10 times five <laughs> okay no seven okay you've never so let me ask Sorry. can i ask you a personal bargaining question on how toxic i am <laughs> can i ask you a personal question yeah have you ever fucked someone to get back at another person genuinely i don't think so like genuinely genuinely i don't think so i don't like mess with that karma like i don't need that in my life and also like i'm not that like like for sure i was like toxic but i was like the most honest toxic you could ever be Mm -hmm. you know and so like like if i like i went through a phase of like i didn't feel anything wow getting dark (laughs) 
<laughs> put sad music behind this. Um, I didn't feel, I didn't feel anything. And I was so numb. And, and then, <laughs> but like I was. Um, and so, yeah, I had like a, I had like a, how can I distract myself? But I would literally be like, hey, like, just to let you know, this is like a one night thing and that's all it's going to be. And if you're not okay with that, then like, I need you to say you're not okay with that because it's not going to be different. We love <laughs> that was so responsible. Boy. Yeah. That's like, pe- and when people would be like, you're, you <laughs> were a fuck boy. <laughs> R&R. Um, people were like, you were a fuck boy. And I was like, no, I, I was the most honest person in the entire yeah. world. People just decided on their own. And like, yeah, there were a handful of times that like, I probably should have known better, but like, I chose. I guess that would be the most toxic I was is that I, I right. knew better. I knew that they were incapable of making the decision. I went through with it anyway and it ended up being terrible. Also, just kidding. I've never been with anybody else other than you, baby. Good save. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. was great. Yeah. Flawless. She'll Flawless never know. Save. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, yeah. yeah. It's fine. What were you going to ask? I don't think I was going to ask anything. I was just going to say you didn't fuck somebody to get back at somebody, but you've definitely done things that you wish that you hadn't be in spite of somebody else's actions mm. my first <laughs> girlfriend is what you're talking about uh yes i was cheated on once so i cheated yeah i i found she told me she cheated on me she was out of country and so that mm. night i cheated on her yeah yeah like that's the most respectful way of cheating in the entire that's world I guess. Very respectful but, I, you're so respectful. but i'm so but i'm just saying that you have yes yes 100 yeah. that's fair yeah. i understand yes i understand yeah. your question yes Thank you. <laughs> At least you weren't posting yourself fucking somebody. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't, I didn't post <laughs> no, myself yeah. fucking I someone. That I was saying, saying I, was like, I didn't post it, but I just did it. Fair. Yeah. So you've never posted something on social media to make someone else jealous. I don't believe that. Okay, I think there's a difference between like maybe like if when we first broke up and like I was on a trip and I was yeah. like I'm having so much fun and yeah. we're the camera I'm <laughs> sobbing versus planning an entire Valentine's yeah. Day feast. <laughs> For yourself. Okay, first of all, there was no food. It was rose petals and AirPods. Get it right. Okay. Yeah, I've definitely posted myself like out at a club after a breakup or like texting your ex being like, well, like, can't, I'm going out tonight. And then, you know what I mean? Like shit like that, but nothing like that. (laughs) Oh, guess we're alone in this. Here we are. Listen. In my defense, I was like so fucking just like at the lowest point of my life and just like so fucking heartbroken. And mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? This could happen. It, it was, it was just embarrassing. How many times have you guys had your heart broken? <laughs> oh, Vic's like oh, every day. God, that's quite the reaction. <laughs> so many times. Oh, baby. Really? Like how many? I mean, relationship wise, I, uh, before jim bob over here mm-hmm. <laughs> jim i had three relationships but there are many a heartbreak oh uh, yeah you know yeah. it's always it's also always the ones that you aren't fully committed to that hurt the most yeah i feel that interesting how does that work i can agree fully. do you know what i mean well i feel like the ones that you're not committed to are probably in my experience anyway the most toxic ones and oh, like yeah. because you're obviously not if you would be committed and healthy and and working right. at yeah. it you know right. when you're not then it's yeah my example is your past um oh no no sorry i'm not trying to air this out <laughs> but i am at the same time that's okay Put the hood uh <laughs> you had a somewhat relationship but you were not willing to commit i had an affair you can say it. okay she had an affair oh my um, God. but that I was okay. Wait, pause. I wasn't in the relationship. I feel like you need to explain yeah, that. Yeah. Give it this, more context. This is not as bad. Well, no, it's still bad and toxic and terrible. I'm not trying to alleviate that. Mm-hmm. But I was single. This other person was in a fully committed relationship for mm-hmm. a long time, and I mm-hmm. knew that and was seeing her. And I, I was seeing other people at the same time and very honest about that. That's mm-hmm. what you were saying. Continue. Yes, but I'm saying like because I mean for that person, it was more than likely one of the hardest or worst heartbreaks because you were not willing to commit. Yes. So that's yes. what I mean. It's like, it's sometimes it's the ones that you just like, you actually can't yeah. like grasp. That's fair. That hurt the most. Interesting. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just saying there have been many heartbreaks outside of relationships. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Anybody so else? 25. <laughs> Babe, how many heartbreaks have I had? Yeah. Um. Well, obviously there's like the, the high school ones where you think was love wasn't like yeah. you know what that so I don't even count those so I would just say one okay Only one. and you yeah Murph probably like two and a half 
What's that? Two and well, a half. I just feel like, like looking back and reflecting, it's like mm, in the moment I would say yes, but now I would say no. So it's that like high school type thing. It wasn't high school though. That's the thing. Hmm. Right. Like it was like a fully committed adult relationship, but I'm like in the moment it felt like heartbreak. But then when I look back, okay, I'm like that was not who. <laughs> would you like me to say the name? <laughs> yeah. no. Sin number. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> funny. Okay, oh yours. Um, I would say one. Only one? I would say one true heartbreak. I think everybody else... And, like, I I don't want this to be, like, offensive towards Past other people partners. that, like, I've dated. Because I think I had an inkling that, like, we would be in each other's lives. Mm -hmm. And we just had to get through. Because, like, I believed... I believed that our relationship was meant to be one thing. Right. Um, and I believed that we could get there. And we did. And so... Mm -hmm. Um, I think that the true only heartbreak of like, n that I've experienced was my first ex knowing like, like that changed me to my core. Mm -hmm. It changed the way I loved. It changed the way I trusted or lack thereof. It changed me in a way that like, it took me 10 years to, yeah, it took me 10 years wow. to like not get over it, to, to, to rewire my brain back oh my god you're upset with i'm me. terrified i'm Go. so scared that you look just was repositioned, terrifying she repositioned her legs say what you need well, to say like dance. <sighs> no um 10 years is a long time you told me it was four no it was four years to get over her mm. um and like it was like four years of me like like i woke up after four years and i didn't think about her Right. at all mm -hmm. like you, you know what i mean and yeah. they say it they say i think genuinely like scientifically um <laughs> uh, but genuinely i think psychologists say that like it's five years to get over your, like a real love it's five years it doesn't mean that you can't be with other people in that time it doesn't mean you can not build other relationships yeah. but it to tangibly get over the trauma of losing somebody in heartbreak takes apparently five years That's and crazy. i would say it took four years for me to get over her it took me 10 years to rewire what I felt she had broken or as I learned I had broken while in that relationship and not mm -hmm. put the blame on her and this and that and the other blah 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 right. that's a fucking episode for another time so do you think that you can like stop loving someone like you know when you're with someone for so long and they're like oh you'll always have love for that person do you believe that you'll you can just like at one point stop having any love for them whoa that was Didn't know so we were gonna deep go this way. <laughs> sorry <laughs> I say yes you can like you can just stop having love for yeah person? i think there, i think so too there have yeah. been people it, like or yeah like past partners that like i mean of course at the time like was so in love mm -hmm. and like had so much love for them and now i'm like no. i think it depends yeah. on the relationship i think mm -hmm. there's some True. people that make such an impact that mm -hmm. you will always have love for them and then i think there's other people that mm -hmm. won't and don't yeah and i think it's That's that right. black and white like i think I think that people, we know that people confuse lust with love and we, infatuation or comfort with love. Like, I think there's, it's so like not linear that like, I think it gets to a point where I've been in relationships where it's like, I will always love you. I will right. always love you. I will always care about you. But also we got out of the relationship in time for me not to lose respect. And I think mm. for me, it, it's mm. really, once you actually, one of like my closest, like one of the people that I consider, you know, to be one of my second moms um, taught me that like you can lose everything but if you lose respect you can't you, you're done you're done doesn't matter how long you stay in it once mm -hmm. you lose respect for the person you're done so i would say like love is like secondary to probably that in my Fair. opinion and what you're about, a respectful guy so i'm a big respectful big guy big respect mm -hmm. guy yeah. uh what about trust like do you feel like once <sighs> you lose trust you can get it back or once once trust is gone it's done for like that specific person or just mm -hmm. in general yeah yeah for like a specific person mm -hmm. I, I, I think I'm interested in your take about this because you feel a very and you're like if you lie to me mm -hmm. that's the, like you you and I agree but the the weight that you put on honesty is so important so I'm mm -hmm. actually very interested yeah in your so answer. no like if you lie to me then I will forever question if like it, like because I make that so clear in the beginning to yeah. my friendships mm -hmm. to my family to my relationships like mm -hmm. that is my thing because I am so open to honesty mm -hmm. you know and i provide full honesty like i would rather and i stress that i would rather you hurt my feelings like i would rather you destroy me mm -hmm. than lie to me so if if that is the boundary that i'm setting and you lie to me that's it for me totally fair. Yeah. like i can't yeah. get it back 
because I, I find that there's no excuse when I'm sitting here telling you, like, I understand if, if I was super sensitive or super like irrational or super right. overreact, like then I could get it. Or if I was mm. super close minded, whatever, but because I stress that honesty is my number one thing then I'm like, what excuse could you have? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the reason? Yeah. No, literally. <laughs> what was the reason? What was it? Interesting. I don't That's get so it. True. And you and I feel pretty differently. I think about it about trust like in general you guys are having your second fight That's first no, episode what, oh what is my opinion on it we can based cut the on tension that. with a knife <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm just interested in like if we differ because we have like different takes on like the whole cheating thing and blah blah, blah which we'll talk about whatever maybe we'll unpack it in another episode but like i i'm so i'm just interested and in if we mm. have different opinions on like trust itself i yeah i guess we we probably do actually i think that i have so so much trauma in my past from distrust um i don't think that i have it in me to gain that trust back for somebody if they've broken it it's it's just something that like i value so much that if you break it like Mm -hmm. it's i i like i just i'm i'm a fucking elephant i don't fucking forget so i don't think it would ever leave my brain that's your favorite animal how cute i know that's my favorite animal love that what There's does so it be an elephant have to do with like they have really good memories they don't they, forget yeah anything. you did look really confused when she said that <laughs> Wait, they have like the bet they don't forget anything they don't, yeah. like they have the most perfect yeah. memory in the world i didn't know that yeah, yeah. they will never forget anything the more you know okay we got to go to africa babe get on a fucking plane you guys <laughs> South africa? Oh, yeah. I would oh, love. Yeah. We would we love to go to like an yeah. African safari african lion safari yeah, yeah. that was beautiful, beautiful. thanks whoa I do agree with you on that for sure. I think uh, what I learned from that like first relationship where I got cheated on versus like when I cheated as well. um, I think what I learned to do is take a step back and understand how I played a part. I didn't want to be intimate and and I I didn't want to have date nights and I was just so like focused on career. Like I just wasn't there. And so, of course, that pushed her away. And that's, that doesn't mean that I think that every person in the world should be like, he's cheating on me or she's cheating on me. How, how is it my fault? I don't think that that's healthy, but I think it's important to be able to like intrinsically think like, okay, like, did I play a part in pushing this person away? And so when it comes to somebody breaking my trust, it's really weird that like sometimes I am so non-forgiving. Like I'm like literally get fucked, get out of my life. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um... And then other times I'm like, fuck, I have to do my fucking due diligence in thinking about this. <laughs> like, how is she the part? So yeah. I think for me, it's not as like black and white, but mm-hmm. I agree, of course, with that ideology that you just said. It's like, it's so hard to get it back. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have a great therapist. Shout out to Cecilia. Yeah. Sh- yeah. Can we just, we're going to give a little round of applause here. Jim fully graduated therapy. Graduated. Like, and as it shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most days. That was R&R. one of the proudest. That was R and R. That was probably one of the proudest moments of my life. For sure. I didn't even know you could fucking do that. I didn't Graduate. know either. Yeah. And you, sorry, you, she uh, she doesn't cry, and you sobbed. I I bawled like a bitch. My when last. When you graduated? Yeah. Dude, because I I was in oh. psychoanalysm for five years. The first two years of it was two times a week. Yeah. And then three years of like once a week. And like I saw her, I guess the last year was maybe once every two weeks because she was weaning me, off, literally weaning me off of it, mm-hmm. being like, you, I think it's time to start graduating you. And I remember like my stomach dropped in my butt. I was like, I don't, I don't, I can't picture my life without you. And like didn't, like she literally saved me in every way, but also oh. like gave me all these coping mechanisms and this and that. And I, oh my God, I might, I'm okay. Shh, nobody look at me. Everybody look away. The, everyone Jim. look away. Nobody look at me. <laughs> oh Turn the camera. Jimmy's going to cry. I don't cry. Yeah. Um, I remember like our last session and it was really hard. For, I was really nervous mm-hmm. leading up to it. And Vic and I were dating at that point for maybe a year. Almost a year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this was recent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was during, it was like right after the pandemic kind of. It was um, the beginning of 2022. Yeah. Wow. And mm-hmm. so... It was our last episode, is what I was going to say, our last session, and I said to her, like, I was, like, thanking her for everything, and she was like, listen, if you need, like, tune-ups, if you need to, like, just email me, and we will set up a appointment, it'll be fine, 
And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> and like that calmed <laughs> me down a bit. And I remember saying to her, like, I feel like you're like, you're like my mom, like sending me off. Like I met like the person who's like the love of my life, who I want to, like, I didn't believe in really marriage necessarily. I didn't believe in forevers until I met Vic. I was like restarting. I know. So gay. I love it. Um, mm -hmm. I was like starting my career again after like a traumatizing end to my, the first, the, the A part of my career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had like figured out what I wanted to do in life career wise, met the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, which I, which I never thought I would find and like had done all this like really hard work with my family. And I was like, I feel like you're like sending me off on the beach, like riding a horse, oh, <laughs> like yeah. just being like, good day. And like, it was, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that visual came to mind. Good day. Good day was crazy. <laughs> Riding off into the sunset yeah. you know, with uh, Cecilia. Yeah. It's um, like releasing a turtle back into the sea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rehabilitation. That's yeah. what I'm picturing. <laughs> Rehabilitation is crazy. <laughs> but that's exactly what it was. And I remember being like so thankful, but also like being so nervous of like not having the comfort of like my therapist, which you build, you were all in therapy and like mm -hmm. my attachment issues could never. Right. Go through yeah. That. yeah. Like imagine losing your therapist. No, I can't. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Salut you guys Cecilia, yeah. love you thanks for everything you cheers did. cheers to cecilia cheers yeah, to cecilia honestly. what mm. a fucking gem i feel like i need her dude i wonder if it would be a conflict of interest because we didn't know each other when i was in therapy maybe. yeah well, well, what, what, you, I it's not like you guys would have to talk about each other right no, yeah but, i mean maybe not therapy. yet i've talked about you guys in therapy in a yeah. negative way <gasps> yeah wait in a what? nice way in a negative way? <laughs> Wait, you said yeah when she asked a negative way. And you were like, oh, yeah. No, I thought you said in a nice way. I said in a negative. Oh, absolutely not. No, I've just shit. said that you Talking guys have shit. been like, <laughs> ever since you guys came into my life, I feel like, I don't know, you guys are just like such a light. And I get so excited to see you guys. And like my anxiety and depression gets like really bad. So like when I know we're going to see each other and like, I feel like it just gives me things to look forward to. And I don't know, I just, I love being around you guys because also us being together is like therapy. Yeah. yeah, we are each other's therapists. We like fight it out, couple on couple. Like we just like <laughs> CBC. air out. No, these guys know literally every single couple part of couple. our relationship, and like yeah. vice versa. And I don't know, it just feels like such a safe space with you guys. And I, I genuinely love being around you guys so much. Oh, I freaking love you guys love so you guys. much. Should we all cry? <laughs> I was on. I was about to. Oh yeah, you what? I said I was about to, but it's okay. Oh. Aww. <laughs> I, s I held it back. It's okay. You can let it out. Like, no, I'm good. This is a safe space. <laughs> Wait, do you think we're going to cry on this podcast? Probably. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. At I think some point, I'm might. sure. Oh, yeah. You guys are. You, you guys I are probably soft. Jim, like, you cried last night. Yeah, Jim, you've been yeah. crying. You're, You're a fucking a big, big cry, cry guy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that that was going to no, happen. Uh, sorry, I have to air out your shit. So last night, we're... <laughs> We're literally doing nothing at all. And Vic and Jax, we have um, an aggressive dog that we, we'll get into our aggressive dog at a later date. But um, basically, it's really hard to like have him around people because obviously some people don't feel comfortable being around an aggressive dog. Um, Vic, obviously, is like, can, wait, can we talk about it? Yeah. Okay. So Vic, you explain how you feel about Jax. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. I want my mom. I want my mom. Yeah. So Vic is like a little scared of our dog. And so it's obviously been hard to like be around each other because we don't have anyone to watch Jax. And so yeah. it's just kind of created issues with us all spending time together. Um, and last night, Vic and Jax had like such a sweet bonding moment. And then Jimbo cried. Hey, <laughs> I okay. started crying. crying. No, Jamie's fully crying. That's your, that, that's untrue are you defending oh, me it's wait yeah. it was it's untrue Chan's wait mask wait mask. sorry we, sorry we it's saw... untrue that you cried i did this so Say i that again his eyes swelled exactly That's all. okay his I, eyes just swelled pretty sure i remember you specifically doing this and then and being then like it won't are... stop and then there were tears yeah, yeah, there it, were tears. the swelling wouldn't stop uh, and then it there did. was there not a tear that fell down no your face? there was no tear anyway i didn't see it from the most the honest dark. person in the world, she's like, lie. Yeah. I, I, I did not see a tear. Okay, there was one tear from my right eye. Okay, so you oh. cried. He, this, <laughs> it's clear, Kylie. It's clear that I cried. We get it. I don't know how many accents I just did in one there, but um, the thing is, is because I have this special bond with Jax, mm -hmm. where like, okay, when I was a kid, I would get bit by dogs left, right, and center. Because Why? I, Why are dogs biting you? No, like that? because I would literally be obsessed with them. I would. I'm seen one with her dogs. With dogs? Yeah, true. Yeah, I, yeah. Literally, a dog will be on the other side of the highway, and I'll stop traffic and be like, <laughs> and like run up to them and like go on the ground and cuddle. 
I'm just, I don't know why I have this like connection. I think there's, I don't, I think like humans just don't deserve dogs and I love oh, them. Yeah, don't. And when I was a kid, I would just always get in their fucking faces. And I like, we'd always like have a dog over like at my parents' place and they'd be like, oh, don't worry. Like so-and-so is like never bit a human, like ever, blah, blah, blah. And I would be the first person <laughs> that they bit every time. Hands down. What were you doing? I was in their face. I was on the ground. I, yeah. They would, like kids, literally kids get away are, from me. No, kids are dogs. Mm-hmm. Like kids actually yeah. shouldn't be around dogs. <laughs> to be kids honest. suck, not the dogs. No, kids yeah, no, you kids suck. suck. Yeah, I you suck. probably sucked. Yeah. Dude, I would I remember this one dog, my aunt's dog, Sammy, and I was literally like, oh my God, hi. And Sammy literally got up, moved to across the room, and lay down. And I followed <laughs> him to then do the same thing. He got up, went to the couch, sat down. Guess where I went? To the, the couch. couch. <laughs> went and did the same thing, bit me. But then I loved it five seconds later. Yeah. And so I have this connection with Jax because Aww. I just like love him so much. And yeah. it is it is tough with aggressive dogs because he also openly is like he snaps. Like, mm-hmm. But, yeah. but like uh, it's like a, it is genuinely like a mental thing, yes, like a mental he has, disorder. Like, genetic issues. Yeah. Like yeah. he's. And so he's the sweetest, most well-trained dog I think I've ever Mm -hmm. met. And then he snaps. And it's like, I can't even picture you being like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I have this special bond with him. And I know, obviously, you've been very open about and communicative about being, you love him, but you're Mm -hmm. you're scared of him. Mm -hmm. And so they had this, like, little moment. And I was like, that's my guys. That's my nephew and my girlfriend. Obviously, we love our dogs so much. But having dogs is... It ruins your life in a way because oh, you just awful, can't yeah. do oh my God, yeah. all the things that you used to do. You can't just like fucking get up and go, especially if you have a dog with behavioral issues. Who do you think wants to watch our dog? Yeah. Nobody. Barely no us. One. We, <laughs> barely <laughs> us. We are barely hanging on by a thread, you know? Um, so yeah, it makes it difficult when we all want to like be together and hang mm. out. But then you have like, obviously our dog who he's so sweet, but he's also a fucking asshole. So like... <laughs> You know, you never know with him. Like yeah. father, like have, son. Yeah, yeah. yeah. where the way he gets it from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, we have trust issues with Jax, and so it's it's hard to trust him. Yeah, it's for trust issues. Let's unpack that. <laughs> Yeah. Lots well, <laughs> listen, when it comes to animals, I will cry when I went to South Africa and met an elephant oh. bald like a bitch. Yeah. I can't believe that. Like that, that is really the most sweet. amazing fucking thing. It was like, one of the most incredible to. experiences of my life. And oh. like I had to cry. I just don't know why animals is because they, they can't like they don't talk back. They don't. It's not like super. <laughs> we don't official. know if they talk That's back. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. So That's fair. sneaky. Do you ever just like look at your dog and be like, Jasper, if you talk right now, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> like. I don't yes. psychosis. I don't <laughs> schizophrenia. Okay, you've never looked at your dog and been like, "I know you can talk." No, I mean, no. the dog. Yeah, speak right you've now. I won't tell anybody. No, I often come think on what they're thinking. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is going through your you've head? You've never but... thought, even like Carly. We know up. you're trying to convince us of <laughs> yeah. what's going on in your head, but it, we can't. Really. You've never just looked at your dog and been like, "Bitch, I know you can fucking speak." No, no. no. I love you so much. Oh God! What? Not what? even when you were younger. Oh my Just God! Try. Not when you were fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Not even for your twenty-fourth birthday. That's crazy. Yeah. No. Please, someone help me out. Someone else. Somebody in the this. comments. I'm, I'm not the only one that's will. thought this. No, they can speak. They can speak. Okay. I'm oh, you're. Oh, you're. You're dying on that hill, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. That's. They're so fucking smart. They understand. If- Jax understands English. He knows exactly what I'm fucking. Saying. No, yeah, he genuinely does know English. <laughs> okay, but- back me up. No, listen. He does. But know if English. any animal can speak, it's a gorilla or a monkey. It's not gonna be a fucking dog. It's gonna be a like. I love how you just took this so scientifically. <laughs> I mean, also, parrots can quite literally oh, talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Someone We're gonna have a brain See, cell. <laughs> if parrots can talk, so can Jax and Jasper. <laughs> Just oh huskies, just huskies, huskies, huskies. True. Oh, oh my god, like, Mishka. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they do talk. So okay. animals can speak. Moving on. Okay. Okay, that's final, <laughs> yeah. I guess. So, um, we posted on our story, mm-hmm. and somebody submitted something very interesting. Oh, I'm and so, so new. Of this. Yeah. So for those. I was going to say, for those who are new to this, you're all new to this. Because we're new to the this. First <laughs> <session>. <laughs> um, we are going to be like taking 
things that people ask us on like Instagram or TikTok or whatever. And that's how we're going to end every episode is like a question that you guys have. Nothing is off the table and jokes on you because we can just pick not to answer your question. So, <laughs> um, so ask us anything and maybe you'll be the person that we pick for the end of every episode. But I, what's the personal question? Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Yeah. Is staying friends with exes really a lesbian tendency or can I tell my GF to stop gaslighting me? <laughs> oh no, it for sure is. Yeah. That, that is lesbian culture. Yeah. Sorry. 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, I'm fully best friends with one of Jamie's exes. Yep. <laughs> yep. And Mercedes is best friends with everybody she's fucked and dated okay. before. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's so. just because she's not, she's not like an accurate depiction of this. She's so, so is she gaslighting me? <laughs> yeah. I'm not toxic. I'm authentic. Oh yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's sure. true. We have we both have best friend exes with the same name. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember you saying that. Yeah. Yep. And Carly loves. My ex and Vic loves your Interesting. ex. Interesting. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Yeah. We have literally, like, our relationships are, like, looking into a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. We're just identical. a heads up. But we're also, um, like, not to brag, but we're just amazing girlfriends for... Where'd that come from? Being so <laughs> open to meeting the exes, being friends with the exes, mm-hmm. because I feel like in it might be a bit different in straight relationships. Like, I feel like it's not 100%. as accepted in, like, hetero relationships. Like, if a guy was dating a girl and that like, he was still friends with his ex who's also a girl like i just don't feel like that would be as accepted mm-hmm. as it mm-hmm. is in like lesbian culture so yeah, yeah. i will you're s- welcome i yeah amazing <laughs> i will say first of all that was crazy um i feel like though oh god we're gonna unpack this but i feel like a lot of lesbian relationships that i see or have like been part of or just like you know whatever i think it's like the toxicity is almost just like accepted Mm -hmm. rather than like trying to change. And like, let me be clear. There's going to be a lot of people coming at us from things that we're going to talk about saying this, that, and the other, we're going to talk about our experiences Yes, as being Mm -hmm. lesbian, 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 sometimes a straight man, (laughs) depending on the day and pansexual. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about our experiences. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we make jokes or we do this or that or the other, you you can try to come at us, but we have our own experiences and you can't mm-hmm. take that away from us. And we identify the way we fucking identify. You can't bring me down. Nah, I'm nah, on nah. high right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys uh. know the gypsy rose? No, I didn't know what you were doing. I was just back in the <laughs> Do you know that? No. Like, I know it. I know it, baby. I got oh, okay. you. Oh, She's like, and the D is fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys oh, right. Bad, the comment actually. that she made about her husband, I understand. Pop but off. I would also I like to just throw this out on the table after what she just said. Like, we don't judge people for how they identify or their experiences or anything. So we obviously hope that people bring that same respect towards us. Yeah. Absolutely. When we talk about things, it's because it's something that we have experienced. That doesn't mean that you've needed to experience it the exact same way. And you can't include everybody's experiences in a comment or a joke or this and the that and the other. And I think that one of the things I've gathered from us is that, like, we all deal with trauma or, or, you know, intense topics or this in similar ways Mm -hmm. where I'm proud to say that I can like joke about things a little bit more or whatever. That's my comfort level with things. And if it's not anybody else's comfort level with things, we get it. Sorry, but we are going to talk about our experiences Mm -hmm. Yeah, in not your therapist podcast. And that's just the way it's going down. Yeah, we're very um, unhinged and underqualified to be talking about all this stuff, but we're just going to fucking, we're just doing it. We're going to give her till she quiver. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> Let's circle back. Are you guys friends with any exes? Absolutely not. Okay. Mm-mm. But I also, uh, all of my exes are men. Oh, you guess, should probably, I think a little harder. Maybe. I guess, well, okay. So I've, te- I've had like two exes. And one of them was like a super short lived relationship. And so, yeah, we're like friends now. We don't like talk or hang out every single day, but we're like acquaintances on, and yeah, Sybil. Absol- yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but like the, my serious relationship now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's unacceptable. <laughs>
gets mad. Oh, okay. So you're a hypocrite. <laughs> out there. No, just everything is different. Nothing is for comparable. Me, not for you. <laughs> no, comparable is two things. Mm-hmm. A and B. <laughs> I'm trying to do the math. I went to Kumon and that confused me. I was a Kumon kid and that confused me. <laughs> What's Kumon? You never heard of Kumon? No. Mm-hmm. What? When you do math in English, you go to like a program. Mine was in a church. Lachayim. I'm a big Jew guy. <laughs> and you went, I went to a church and you go in the basement. This sounds like it's going to a bad place. <laughs> okay. So a priest took you to a basement. <laughs> oh my God. And taught you math. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we went to the basement. It wasn't as bad as it sounds. And we go, we went and we learned math. Mm. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, continue with whatever you were saying. <laughs> um, we're all lesbians. We're all friends with an ex. Obviously, you're not. I don't know where. I'm friends with her ex. Not, so, <laughs> yeah. Process of elimination, I guess. But I will say, I don't know if this is outing you, but you're not. You've not been with a lesbian before dating so, no yeah so maybe that's why you're not friends with them 100 percent, 100 percent. no all that of, math is math and- so, <laughs> my, i went to also, come on like, <laughs> my past relationships were with men yes yeah um and they were not great um at the end like so you're we didn't, you're we didn't end on good terms yeah. so there was you're no exempted. reason to stay friends yeah. yeah 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 like you wouldn't have worked past the things of like the reasons why it ended mm-hmm. certainly not okay interesting long story short your girlfriend is not gaslighting you she's speaking bare facts um but i don't know i'm not your therapist <laughs> <laughs> cheers queers on that note I don't know if cheers, I agree or cheers, not, but I'm yeah, gonna just go. Cheers. I'm going Take away. that advice with a grain of salt. Thank please, you. please. <laughs> cheers, queers. Oh my god. Right